Good morning. Tuesday morning, heading to Prove HQ in Herzliya. Going to be a great day. First kind of day there after Prove Day, which was last week, and was an amazing, amazing success. Then I'm having lunch with my boy Rob, who you might recall from Thursday night. He has a seriously, seriously cool startup in the digital art space. Hopefully I'll get him on camera. He can tell you a little bit about that, but really one of the most, most interesting companies around. That's about it. Spending the whole day at Prove. Lots of work to do. Really, really awesome stuff going on with this company. Here we go. I made it to Herzliya bright and early, probably way before anyone else at the Proof offices. And there are some beautiful automobiles parked in the parking lot here. Man, I am such a car junkie. Yes, please. When you have a view this nice, there's only one thing you can do. I'm going droning. The sport mode on the Mavic Pro can fly 70 kilometers an hour. That's like 40 or 50 miles an hour. Watch this. Headed to Bistro 56 now to meet my boy Rob. He'll tell you more about his startup, but the concept is fairly simple. Everywhere you go in 2017, there are screens, hotels, restaurants, there are monitors. These guys, their biggest enemy is the black screen, an empty screen. It's prime real estate. They're taking advantage of that real estate and basically distributing digital art around the world. Sounds crazy? He'll tell you more. Phenomenal startup. <laughs> So I am sitting here now with my boy Rob for the second time this week, man. What do they say? Palm tree sheet? Gotta buy me ice cream. We'll, we'll keep up the secrets, yeah. Yeah, okay, so we hung out on Thursday night, double date night, and that was no business allowed. I was gonna bring my camera, but that was vetoed. And now we're sitting and feasting over some good meat here in Herzliya, and this a beautiful, beautiful view. beautiful, beautiful view. And we're talking about Neo. What the heck is Neo? Neo. Who are you, first of all? So my name is Rob Anders. I've been in Israel for about 18 or 19 years, originally from London. Can you just say aluminum? Aluminium. Aluminium, yeah, because when I hear uh, Johnny Ive, when, I, when you talk, I hear Johnny Ive. Yeah, everyone the, loves Johnny Ive. The biggest compliment in the world, by the way. I like that, thank okay, you. Yes, yeah, aluminium. The, the aluminium. British aluminium. accent gets us everywhere, especially right. when we're trying to do business in the States. Yeah, but there's different types of British accents. You have a good one. Okay. Yeah, so appreciate that. Go on, I'm listening. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I've been in, uh, in Israel for 18 or 19 years, always been in the high-tech world, and always trying to be involved in digital spaces just before they're going digital. So kind of location-based services before we had GPS on our phones, B2B trading platforms before, or just as e-commerce was coming on. Okay. Involved in displays and screens before people knew that screens 
happening to its abuse everywhere. Right. And, and, and all of that kind of was perhaps some of the, uh, the breeding ground for the idea of Neo, which started uh, around three years ago. What's your website, by the way? The website is neo.art, N-I-I-O. Dot A-R-T, love it. Dot A-R-T. It's a cool domain. And it kind of gives, yeah, we actually have neo.com as well. Do you really? Yeah, we paid for that at the very beginning. Wow. And, and let's talk about Neo for a minute, because you know what, this is about experience and emotion and, and, and branding and, and Listen to this. And positioning. Yes. Okay, so, so Neo, if you can see, the, that's the logo. Okay. Yeah. So that logo yeah. is a few things all in one. Yeah. We have a strong design thinking throughout the organization. We have the, the, the N, which is actually a tilde, which is for everlasting and ongoing and eternity. We have the I's and the O's, which is kind of ones and zeros for digital, pause, zero and stop. Right. And uh, then there's the kind of uh, relationship to Neo from the matrix, you know, what's real and what's not. Love and it. essentially what we're trying to do is bring something meaningful into this digital world. Okay. And what do we mean is that ultimately, I know you cover a lot of this in, in your work, we're in this world where we're surrounded by digital noise. People are throwing content at us everywhere. Our kids are running around with kind of mobile phones and kind of stuck in the browser and what we're saying is that the internet was going to bring everyone together and perhaps it's alienated us there's a lot of noise out there so Talked what about we, that on Thursday night yes. indeed we did <laughs> so what we're trying to do is actually bring a different type of maybe more meditative reflective experience to people okay and actually what we're doing is aggregating the biggest collection of digital art okay this is moving image artwork what is digital art so digital that. art artists forever have used whatever tools you can give them to create their artworks and usually their artworks they're telling a story. So really any type of, whether it's a, fan, whether it's a book, whether it's a film, whether it's music, people are telling a story. Right. In art, it's two things. It's meaningful content, so something that's meant to mean something, carry a message, right. and a medium in which it's transported you. So it could be a painting, it could be a sculpture, but since the 60s and 70s, people have been creating video art. Mm -hmm. And now in this world of augmented reality and virtual reality and GIFs and everything else, artists have greater accessibility to the tools used to create their art than ever before. And, well, that was one of the challenges they had before we came along. But ultimately, Ultimately, you've seen this explosion of people who are creating what we call born digital artworks. These are artworks which are actually collected in museums and big collections, but what we're doing is creating a platform specifically to underpin this entire medium. So on the one side, we bring together the artists, the galleries, down to the emerging artists and the academies and institutions and museums and so forth. And that's and the we, supply. And they, yeah, and they actually are self-publishing them. They're actually storing them on our platform because we give them things that Google Drive and Dropbox don't, like digital preservation. But then they self-publish and use our platform to actually showcase and distribute around Around the world. So ultimately, we are enabling through our technology and through probably the best collection today of high quality digital artworks to give people in commercial locations, in offices, in hospitality locations, in hotels, in uh, healthcare environments, and even people in, in their homes, the ability to turn their black screens into dedicated digital art canvases. Think of, if I'm simplifying it for us dumb people and us non-artistic people, I don't know why we never, we never talked about this before, and this might might, this might offend you to your core, what I'm about to say, but think of, maybe you should close your ears for this, the screensaver on steroids. Let me just explain what I mean. Okay. It's ready to kill me. <laughs> what I mean by that is not that your stuff is as garbage as the Microsoft screensavers. It's not the case at all. You're talking about very high quality art. But what was the concept of a screensaver? The screensaver was saying, listen, you have this prime real estate, this monitor in front of us all day, every day, whether it's the computer, the phone, whatever it is. When we're not using it, it's just black. Why not show something visual? Why not give me a little bit more of an experience and show, you know, the ocean and the waves and whatever it is and make it more delightful to look at. That was a concept that obviously has been around forever. Why not take that 30 levels higher and say, give me high quality, lucrative art on all my screens. My office has this monitor there to display to give presentations. When no one's using it, show high quality art. Whatever it is, hotels. Every hotel has monitors all over the place. Turn it into art when it's not being used. Is that, is that okay? Is that offensive? Uh, a little bit. Wait, no, we're on the right way. Listen, there's a trillion walls in this world which are being decorated in different types of ways. Okay? If you go onto house and you type in TV room, you're going to see beautiful rooms, whether it's in offices, whether it's in people's homes, beautifully designed by interior designers and by architects, and then there's going to be a black hole on the wall. We want to get rid of that. We want to turn that black hole into a digital art canvas. And, and this is not showing screensavers because in fact what we're doing is giving the opportunity to talented artists and in fact we work with the represented artists, the top, top rock stars of this space and we give them all of the tools and security to actually distribute it to your screens with different models. So you can either buy works and these are limited edition artworks or you can actually subscribe to actually have a collection of works which is changing every few months so it keeps the space alive. Um, or you can even choose to loan 
individual artworks, which are limited edition, oh, a bit like blockbusters. In the I feel like I'm never going to let that down that I, that I compared Neo to screensavers. <laughs> He's like never going to talk to me again. <laughs> I didn't just say that. <laughs> anyway, uh, listen, the bottom line is we can't talk about what because it's, you know, it's still uh, under wraps, but you have some big news you're going to be announcing soon. The company's growing. You have incredible people on your team, like world-class, you know, experts in this space. The team's growing. The company's growing. I expect to hear a lot of good news from Neo soon. And like I said before, anything I can do to help you, you know, you know where to find me. We appreciate and, uh, that. We and appreciate always looking up, you know, his partner, is that what you call her? Yeah, call her wife, partner. father. Wife, partner is Shiraz Tal. I, I gave her, I don't know if you saw Thursday's vlog, but I said I was going out with you and a, a supermodel, and then and then I didn't take the camera. So like the people who were watching were like, you didn't go out with a supermodel. So t tell me a little bit about Shiraz. Uh, I knew you were going to get this in. I think you should all Google Shiraz. I think that's easy. Just Shiraz Tal. What, Shiraz what, what, Tal some, it's a magazine Shiraz, she was Shiraz, in. Shiraz, one of Israel's first international supermodels and probably the first model to actually be down the side of a, uh, of a building in New York City. Wow. And, uh, she was in Vogue. She was in everywhere. And, you know, and, and what's, yeah, she was everywhere. And actually, maybe a nice way to finish this story is, is when Shiraz said to me, because she was pregnant, what are we going to call our daughter? And all I had in my head was Neo, 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 Neo. It's like, well, let's call her Nia. She looks at me, she said, you're going to get credit now forever because that's a cool awesome. name. And so awesome. thank you for hearing about Neo. I'd love to introduce you all to uh, Shiraz and also to Nia, said, my daughter. Named off. Neo art. check it out. If you're an artist, if you're a business that has walls, which is every single business in the world, basically, check out this, this platform. They're super early. You'll, you can literally be a design partner, yeah. quite literally. And design partners. We have, around about, we have around 50 or 60 designers and uh, integrate and uh, architects from around the world who are specifying us and putting us into their high-end designs. Can you talk a little bit about, just real quick, a couple of lines about um, some of the hotels or, or maybe yeah. institutions that so you for example, with? So, for example, um, Marriott, now the biggest hotel company in the world with 30 different brands. For one of their brands, they've just redesigned, uh, created their, their, their latest generation, which will be applied across three or 400 hotels. In each one of those hotels, they will have an 84-inch screen in a portrait mode in the lobby area which will be showing a curated selection of moving image digital artworks from Neo which okay. they will be able to control centrally from their from the head office and on the ceiling they're also going to have a 20 meter LED selfie artwork uh, done by uh, an international artist who specializes in this which will capture the, the, the guests as they walk in and put them on the ceiling. That is truly outrageous. Now let's just end this this interview with for those that might be watching this thinking eh, art how big is art how last week or two weeks ago a single painting a single painting was sold for four hundred and fifty million dollars. One painting, four hundred and fifty million dollars. So this is a massive premium market, and no one's really taking it to our century, except Neo. And what's interesting is when it becomes digital, which reflects the world we live in, it gives us different types of business models. So you can have access to a hundred thousand dollar artwork just in your house for the evening, and you'll be one of only a few people in the world to be able to do so. Through a Super duper cool, dude. I know I'm going to hear amazing things from this company, but don't forget the little people, okay? Yeah, we won't forget the little people. Bro, good luck, man. Take good care. luck with everything. Appreciate it. I watched. Casey's latest video and tweeted about it and he just retweeted me look how my phone is exploding insanity today was a good day I'm on my way home and I literally pulled the car over to the side of the road because I figured what better way to end this day than the most unbelievable skies I think I have ever seen check this out how insane is that? Hanukkah starts tonight, taking the day off tomorrow, so no vlog. See you Thursday. Look at these skies. Holy smokes. Later.